Yes. So, up against this. Oh, this is on. This, this microphone is on. And then I do this, and they reply with this. And then. So you just have to say the, the right. response is when you're the mm -hmm. And then. Uh, and then this one.
Sa ngalan ng Ama at ang Anak at ang Espiritu Santo. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather in the presence and in the power of love for you, Abe and Elda, on the anniversary of that celebration on which you joined your lives in an unbreakable bond to the sacrament of matrimony 50 years ago. You now intend to renew before God, before your family and friends, the promises you made to one another. Turn to the Lord in prayer this day that these vows may be strengthened by divine grace. And so, my dear friends, as we prepare to celebrate these most sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Kawaan tayo ng makapangyarihang Diyos, patawarin tayo sa ating mga kasalanan, at patnubayan tayo sa buhay na walang hanggan.
attentive to our prayers, O Lord, in your kindness. Pour out your grace on these your servants, Abelardo and Elda, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. On their wedding night, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, Sister, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. Sarah got up, and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs. They began with these words. Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praised be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam, and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong of a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy, and comprehend all the mysteries and all knowledge. If I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with and your with spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatever? Jesus said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. They said to him, Why then did Moses command one to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away. He said to them, For your hardness of heart, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife except for unchastity and marries another commits adultery. And he who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. Magandang tanghali po. Ako po ay kinakabahan because this Mass is like an ordination. Tatlong pari, madaming acolytes, dalawang, obis, dalawang uh, deacon. Daig pa ang isang ordination, daig pa ang isang kantamisa. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather today in the power and presence of God who finds us, who finds us in love for Tita Elda and Tito Abi. Could you imagine, tumayo po kayo. Well, you can't, but you, you get it. Turn around, turn around, turn around. I want you to see and to feel the many faces of family and friends who have gathered with you today. These are the family and friends. These are yung mga kababayan po ninyo din, mga tiga atimunanin, that have surrounded you today to celebrate your 50th anniversary. My dear brothers and sisters, they are a testimony and a witness to us of what love is. Your presence here this afternoon too is a blessing for them, for their children, and for their whole family. Because your presence here is one of prayer, your presence here is one of blessing, and your presence here is one that says, keep going, keep doing what you are doing. The success story Ang kasal nila po 50 years ago only had 10 people. Themselves, their godparents, and a few people. Today, 50 years, they're surrounded by so many. So many. And so we thank you for that. All right, you can sit down now. That's the end of your 10 seconds of fame. <laughs> I speak today of the understanding that God finds us in love today. This reminds me of a story in my own life. I'm a godfather and I have a couple of godchildren and they're all below the ages of five. And so when I come to their house and I visit their house, I come through the door and immediately they say, Nino, Nino, can we play hide and go seek? And so I said, sure, let's play hide and go seek. And so their dad counts 1 to 20, and then I, with them, start hiding. And we find ourselves in a closet in their parents' room, 
and we go into the closet and there's this big blanket and we hide ourselves under the blanket and I say, shh, you don't want your dad to find us. Let's stay quiet. And then I turn on my phone, flashlight, and I tell them, shh. One of them will fart, another one will giggle, and I said, shh. And then eventually, we hear the footsteps of dad. And I tell them, shh. And dad opens the door, and they yell, and they scream, and everything else. At the end of the commotion, at the end of the commotion, they look at me again and they say, Nino, can we play again? And I said, sure. And I said, so? Their dad starts counting one to 20 again. And I said, let's find another place to hide. And you know what they say? No, it's easier to just go back into the closet. It dawned on me that the only thing that my godchildren wanted to do was to be found by their dad. The only thing that they wanted to do was just to be found. Our readings today from Tobit, our reading from St. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians, speaks of salvation history, speaks of the story of God with his people, that God finds his people ready to receive his love. Here is this married couple in the first reading, and they are sharing in the greatest thing, that they have found one another, and that they pray in bed before they consummate their marriage. St. Paul, this canticle of love says, love is patient, love is kind, love is of service, love is one of sacrifice. Love can only be found when these things are set in place, when these virtues are in place, patience constant struggle, but yet constantly seeking. Today, Tito Abi and Tita Elda, you've realized that you found each other, that even your own nicknames to one another, Mahal and Kuya Abi, are still the same feelings 50 years ago as they are today. But now the context of that is that your family has gotten bigger. There are more meals to be shared, and there are many more things to experience. That even in the struggles, that maybe there wasn't enough food to wake up every single child, when you have a pasalubo, it's all right. Or maybe even coming to another foreign country to set roots again. You see now the fruits of that. My dear brothers and sisters, they opened their hearts 50 years ago, and God found fertile ground to build love. God found a fertile ground of a home to establish children and grandchildren to see them from generation to generation. My brothers and my sisters, today, the Lord seeks you out, and he tries to find you, not in a closet, not yelling and screaming, but constantly open to the work of God. What has God done in your life, in my life? What has love done in your life and my life? And allow that to continue to grow. Because in their life, 50 years ago, and today, they see it, and you get to celebrate it. There is so much champagne that is ready to be uncorked, and there, and there is a whole night ahead of you of dancing and laughing and getting together with family and friends. And so, Tita Elda and Tito Abi, may God continue to shed his grace upon you and may he always find you so that when this life journey is at an end, he may welcome you with great joy to his wedding feast of heaven. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for a few moments and let us ask God to descend upon our celebration to open our hearts so that we can be sought and found. Good and gracious God, today we gather in your presence and in your power. In your name and in the power of your spirit, we ask you to bless all of our families here 
to bless all of our marriages, to bless each and every single one of us who responds to your call today. In your name and in your power, drive out all the obstacles from our lives. Drive out all those enemies that we need to pray for, the moments of unforgiveness, the moments that we don't see your love alive in our hearts. We thank you for the gift of Abelardo and Elda. We thank you for their family. And we thank you for the gift of our Catholic faith and for this great sacrament of marriage, that we may continue to promote it, encourage it, strengthen it, and accompany it. And we ask all of this through the power of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And the church says? Amen. And the church says? Amen. Good. Gising kayo. Abelardo and Elda, on the, on the anniversary of that celebration 50 years ago, on which you joined your lives in an unbreakable bond through the sacrament of matrimony, you now intend to renew before God the promises you made to one another. Turn to the Lord in prayer that these vows may be strengthened by divine grace. Bless us, Holy Lord, by your goodness, I talk elder as my wife. Blessed are you, Lord, by your goodness, I talk Abelardo as my husband. Blessed are you, Lord, for in the good and the good bad times of your life, you have stood lovingly by each other's side. Help them, we pray, to remain faithful in their love for one another so that they may be true witnesses to the covenant you have made with humankind. May the Lord keep you safe all the days of your life. May he be your comfort in adversity and may your support in prosperity. May he fill your home with his blessings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Increase and sanctify, Lord, the love of your servants, Abelardo and Elda, who gave each other the symbols of these rings as a sign of faithfulness. Bless and sanctify the love of your servants, O Lord. Let these rings, a sign of fidelity and commitment, remind them of their love for one another. Recall the grace of the sacrament that they have made always and grow in the love of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so at this point, I invite the Aras to come forward. So what we have just done is we have blessed their rings, the rings that they gave to each other 50 years ago, and the rings that are new on this anniversary we blessed, and I incense them. Because the sacrament of marriage is not just the rings. Take away the rings, take away all these symbols. The sacrament of marriage is husband and wife, and so we bless that as well. And now we bless these Aras. 
Bless, O Lord, these aras that your servants, Abelardo and Elda, will continue to persevere in living up to their promise 50 years ago to support and protect one another. Pour over them the abundance of your goodness and of your good gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Elder, my wife, receive these arras as a sign of my renewed pledge of God's blessing and the good gifts we have sharing. Abby, my husband, receive these arras. I, a sign of my renewed God blessing and the good gifts we have been sharing. And now I invite the Bible and the Rosary to come forward. The Bible and the Rosary is a sign of God's Word and the intercession of Mary through the praying of the Rosary. As Father Peyton used to say, the family that prays together stays together. And so may these symbols of the Bible, may the Word of God be constantly upon your lips, and may Mary's intercession be always surrounding you in your own home. And through the intercession of Mary, may these religious articles and through the power of His name, Jesus' name, continue to be in your home and in your life. Amen. And now we invite them to light the unity candle.
At this time, we invite the cord and the veil to come forward. May the good God continue to envelop you and in your renewal, may he constantly keep you under his care. May the cord that unites you in the bond of marriage for richer, for poorer, in sickness or in health bring you fidelity and lasting happiness. And so I invite you all to please stand as we continue our prayer with the prayers of the faithful. Let us call upon the mercy of God, the Father Almighty, who in his great provident plan willed that the history of human salvation be signified in marital love and fidelity. The response to the, to the petitions will be, renew the fidelity of your servants, Lord. Renew the fidelity of your servants, Lord. Holy Father, who are called faithful, requiring and rewarding the observance of your covenant, be pleased to fill with your blessings these your servants who celebrate the 50th anniversary of their marriage. Renew, Renew the, fidelity the fidelity of your, of your servants, servants Lord. Lord. Holy Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit enjoy from eternity perfect oneness of life and communion of love, grant that these your servants may always remember and faithfully keep the covenant of love they made in the sacrament. Renew the Renew fidelity the of your servants, servants, Lord. Holy Father, who in your providence order all the experiences of human life so as to lead the faithful to share in the mystery of Christ, Grant that these your servants, serenely accepting both good times and bad, may strive to cling to Christ and live for him alone. Renew, Renew the, fidelity the fidelity of your, of your servants, servants, Lord. Holy Father, who willed that the partnership of marriage should be an example of Christian living, grant that all married couples may be witnesses in the world to the mystery of your son's love. Renew the fidelity of your servants, Lord. O God, in whose plan family life has its firm foundation, hear with compassion the prayers of your servants, Abelardo and Elda, and grant that following the example of the Holy Family, they may praise you without end in the joy of your house through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we invite you to please be seated as we now prepare the altar with gifts of bread and wine.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive in your kindness, Lord, the offerings we bring in gladness before you, and in your fatherly love, watch over those you have joined in a sacramental covenant through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in him you have made a new covenant with your people, so that as you have redeemed man and woman by the mystery of Christ's death and resurrection, so in Christ you might make them partakers of divine nature and joint heirs with him of heavenly glory. In the union of husband and wife, you gave a sign of Christ's loving gift of grace so that the sacrament we celebrate might draw us more deeply into the wondrous design of your love. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we praise you and without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name to the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before our final blessing, just a word of thanks to all of those who were able to celebrate this. Most of all, all of you gathered, family and friends, but also to our liturgical ministers, to our acolytes, thank you so much. To our permanent deacons, thank you for your presence. To Father Joshua and to Father Joseph, thank you for your presence in this beautiful celebration. And to our choir, thank you. A multitude of so um, uh, sound. The Lord be with you. May God, the all-powerful Father, grant you his joy and bless you in your children. Amen. Amen. May the only begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And so it is my honor and my privilege to present to you husband and wife. Tita Elda, you may kiss your husband. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. Now, now I gotta do my five o'clock. <laughs>